right? Peep game, right? So, I'm chilling with my big homie. Just kicking it, vibing, having a good time. In walks one of our bros. He got a puppy with him. I'm damn. He, that dog hella pretty. It's a blue nose. He hella pretty, right? He like, yeah, man, I had this joint for a couple days. I'm like, damn. He's like, yeah, man, somebody just, somebody told me to, like, watch him or whatever. And they ain't just, they ain't come back to pick him up. So I'm like, damn, he just been having a puppy. So he go on. I'm like, yo, shit, what you doing with it? He like, shit, I, I don't really want to sell him. Um, all right, what's up? Let me grab him then. So I end up t uh, grabbing him from him, right? And, um. Remember my big we at my big homie spot. So I ended up grabbing him from him and um paying the nigga. I called somebody, yo, come pick up my puppy. Cause I'm doing something right now. I'm chilling. Just go pick him up, take him to your crib. I'll get him when I leave here, type shit. So alright, boom. They come pick him up, take him home, whatever. I'm still chilling. About like three hours go by. Shorty walk in the door, some female, she get the, yo, have you seen y'all, bro? He told me to come down here. He had my dog. Da, da, da. You ain't seen my dog. She teary eyed and you know what I'm saying? All of this. So I'm like, um, damn, this is Shorty dog. I thought I'd seen that dog before. Like Shorty a little, she be around and shit. I thought I'd seen the dog before. So I'm like, oh my God, like. Now I'm in a predicament, like, what do I do? You feel me? Like, I don't want to give the dog back, but it's like I need to, but I really don't have to because it's gone. I pay for him. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I keep it solid. I keep it G, and I'm just like, damn, that's sad as hell. I want to, I'm going to keep a lookout for him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Big homie saying the same thing. He like, yeah, man. But I probably tell you, man, if that if you gave the dog, the dog to the bro, that dog probably gone by now type shit. So everybody keeping it cool, keeping the shit copacetic. So I go home. I pill out, right? All of a sudden, I'm just kicking it, relaxing, playing with my puppy. I done bought him a dumb big-ass bed. I didn't got um a chain, little little Cuban link around them, put on them that I been had. It's one of mine, a little small one, but you know what I'm saying. I put it around them. I got a hella food, raw chicken, all just eggs, all type of shit. I probably spent probably like little little three piece, three honey. You know what I'm saying? Some toys, some ropes, things like that. Cause I love my little man, right? I get a call, boom, it's the big homie. I don't answer it. Cause I'm thinking in my head, I bet this about this damn dog. So nigga, call me again. Boom. I'm now. Now I'm. I know he's about the dog. Still don't answer though. The nigga called me the third time. I'm like, I missed it. When I come back, I see it. I'm like, you know what? So I get on the line. I call him. I'm like, yo, what's good? I'm, I'm, I'm before he say anything. I'm like, bro, I know you ain't calling me about this dog. He like, yeah, bro, you got to give the dog back. Shorty in here. Shorty been here for hours. She won't leave and shit. She crying, talking about that's her dog. That's her baby. She got paperwork on the dog and whatnot. And I'm just like a struck. I can't believe this shit. For one, I'm like, yo, this my big homie. Why the fuck would he call me? And tell me to bring his dog back. Like, he already knew the situation. He knew what time it was. He knew dude was on bullshit. Whatever the situation may be, he knew he was on bullshit. Why would you call me for me to bring something back to us? Now he in my family. So you trying to take something from me? That's how I feel. Now, I know you can think like, yo, but yo, Ben, that's fucked up. Like, give, give that girl her dog back. Like, that's her dog. Somebody took it from her. And, like, I feel you. I'm on that, too. But at the same time, it's like, fuck that. I don't fuck it. Like, whatever. Who? I don't care. Like, dang. If that was, ain't nobody going to get my dog. Ain't nobody going to be watching my dog. 
to where that could even happen. So it's like, I feel like, dang, like, man, it sucks. But you know what I'm saying? Like, better look next time. But I mean, I, I really want to know because I do feel bad and I'm really teetering on actually taking the dog back tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't know. Because I was told, and when my bro came over, he said that the nigga, that the dog was, uh, that she gave him, the, that the dog was given to him, and the person just didn't come pick the dog up. That's what was told to us. You feel me? But in reality, he was actually kicking it with the, with, with the girl and seeing the dog and grabbed it and ran out the crib like a cat burglar. Like, that's the reality of what happened. So now, so that is kind of like some bogus stuff. And and my, me and my homies, my squad, we don't really move like that. That's some petty criminal type stuff. Like it would have been better off if he just took the dog from her. You know what I'm saying? And she know what's up. Like I'm taking this. You know what I'm saying? But he did like some sneaky, sly, slimy type stuff, backdooring her and all that, acting cool just to get the dog to sell it and all type of stuff like that. So. On that part, I understand that. But at the same time, now that it's in my hands, I'm like conflicted on, do I give this dog back just because Shorty crying and she, that's her dog? You know what I'm saying? Like the dog definitely in a better place, definitely have plenty of love. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not saying that Shorty wasn't loving him, but her situation is kind of, uh. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, he definitely in a better place. But I'm just, the whole thing is, is that why the hell is my big homie calling me on some shit? Like, bro, you got to bring the dog back. You got, like, because I feel like, why is he even involved in it? It didn't have nothing to do with him. Yeah, he was around when the transaction was going on, but that was between me and bro, bro and me, not the big homie. Big homie was just there. He didn't have nothing to do with the conversation. He didn't have no money. It's nothing. He has nothing at all to do with what happened. So it's like, why is he the one calling me talking about, bro, you got to bring the dog back? If anything, he should call me being my big homie. He should have called me and be like, yo, you know, Shorty's still over here, bro. That bitch, she ain't, she ain't left. She just been over here crying and blah, 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 this and that's about this dog. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, in my opinion, you should probably bring, give it back to her. But I know how, like, how you was taken to the dog. The dog followed you all around. Like, like that shit, that suck. Like, you got a decision to make, some type of shit. But instead, he called me talking about, bro, you got to, you, you need to. You got to bring the dog back. Like, it's no question. It's nothing about it. Like, you'll be compensated. I got to compensate you. Then I got to compensate them. And, and I'm just like, bro, well, you don't have to compensate nobody, like, about nothing. Because you have nothing to do with it at all. Like, I just don't understand that. So now I'm in a little pickle. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I like the little homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's sleep right now. Otherwise, he'll be in the video. Like, he's sleep, though. I named him Capone. You know, um... But I really don't know what, I, what I'm going to do. My sister like him. My mom like him. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm definitely going to have a chit-chat with the big dog, though, because uh, I ain't really feeling that. Like, bro, you can't just say, bro, like, no. Like, nah, this ain't, a, this ain't like a, a book bag somebody left at the house, and I like it, so I kept it. No, this is a dog a whole person that was sold to me. I paid for this, man. No matter what I paid for him. Then he was saying some stuff like, bro, you ain't even pay that much for the dog. Like, you got a crazy deal on him. Okay, and? Like, it started to make me feel like some shit like, like folks are just like, kind of like hating. And I'm just like, hold on now. Don't be like that. Like, cause he, he was just trying to get a dog the other day, but the people ain't pull up when they said they was, you know what I'm saying? So it might, and then I come around the corner and this blue nose pop up and I grab him. Cause look, we had another, we was, we met up with some other dude the other day and um, he had some puppies, some pit puppies, but he had all girls, but he didn't, 
apparently he thought he had some boys left or something like that. Cause when he was when he was at the crib, we speci I specifically said, bro, bring me a boy. Like, give, I want a blue boy or like a yellow or tan boy if you got one. So he was like, all right. Then my big homie, he like, he like, I want a girl, a tan girl. So he like, all right. So he go to the crib. He call us when he get there on video, FaceTime, talking about like, bro, that's all I got left. I ain't got no boys. All I got is girls. So it was already out of the question of me getting one because I'm not getting a girl, dog. I had one before and... It's just not, it's just too much. And I'm not about neutering and fixing dogs. I don't, I don't really like that type of stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't do that to the dog. So, but I can't deal with the female dog's cycles and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I just, rather not just have a girl dog. I would love to have a girl dog, but it just comes with too much extra stuff. So, I'd rather not. So, I couldn't get a dog. So, but he was supposed to get one. He even brought them over. They showed them. You know what I'm saying? He seen them. The dog was beautiful. I picked her up and everything. She was so cute. Little tan pit bull. So he like, yeah, I'm going to grab her in the morning because I got stuff to do right now. I'm about to leave. So I'm going to grab her in the morning. Dude never calls or never pulls back up. So he doesn't get the dog. You feel me? Then today, when I got mine, this other chick pull up with some pit with some puppies, but they was mixed. They was little mutts. And they look weird, kind of like, they look cute, but they look weird at the same time. And dude was wanting way too much for him. You know what I'm saying? So, bottom line is, he didn't get a puppy. And I ended up getting one when it was no, it didn't look like at all I was getting one. And I just randomly get a boy pit after trying, wanting to buy one bad as hell. You feel me? And then I just, it didn't happen. And then I just don't even bring it up no more. And then today, boom. One is just sat in my lap. You feel me? So I feel like big homie kind of like was like feeling some type of way. Like that's how I kind of felt. I would hope not. I would hope he not feeling no type of way because that's just crazy if he is. You feel me? But you never know with people, bro. Like you never know with people. Like people be acting like that. Like people will be cool with you and act like they for you and they down for you until they see you start to like get stuff that they don't have or or something comes easier to you than it does to them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's it, that really did something to me. Like the fact that that man called me talking about bring this dog back. Like, that's, it don't it don't go like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy though, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just feel like telling y'all this, let y'all know what's going on. It's always some crazy stuff going on in my life. So it is what it is. Peace.